A while back, we released a pedal called the Pantheon. Now this pedal, even though it was a single overdrive circuit, had a lot of different options to get a lot of different tones. What better way to make that just a little bit better? Well, we followed some of the advice from our customers and created the Pantheon Deluxe. Now this pedal, even though it looks like it has two different circuits, which it does, but they're not exactly the same. See, channel one is actually a little bit more like the traditional blues breaker circuit, uh, where the Pantheon and channel two is a little bit more like what you would find in a King of Tone. Now don't get me wrong, this is not a King of Tone clone. This is just something that uh, looking at the circuitry, you can see like the similarities. You're like, oh, I see there's some roots here. There's some similarities, though they're not exactly the same. So with that said, let's talk about the Pantheon Deluxe just a little bit. You'll notice there is a presence dial. Why a presence dial? Well, this version has that presence dial in it. And um, it's a very handy thing to have whenever you want to fine tune to the guitar. So some guitars are a little bit darker, some guitars are a little bit brighter. So you may want to, to use that knob to kind of tune that in. Same thing with amps, really. On this particular pedal, you'll also find a lot of other options as well. We'll go through those in just a minute. First of all, let's talk about some of the tones you get. Right now I'm playing through a Bovado. Um, sort of a, I think of sort of like a Fender Black Facey sort of thing. Now let's start on channel one. I have the gain down, I have the bass, I always cock the bass back just a little bit because this, this guitar is a little bit bass heavy. So here we go, channel one. Now let's compare that to the same thing on channel two. So overall, it's a little bit different texture, a little bit more mids, a little bit less highs. And I should also note here, I'm also using the voicing switch in the soft clipping position. So all the way back. And uh, again, we'll get into that just in a, in a little bit so we can you know, get into the details of it. Now, when you stack these two, it's gonna do what you, uh, what you would normally get whenever you stack pedals. You're gonna get twice the gain and one running into the other. And we do have an order switch here that we can just simply Turn, move that switch and we go from channel one to channel two or channel two to channel one. So one thing I didn't really mention that I probably need to mention in this particular video, because I, I see this mistake quite a bit with the single version of the Pantheon. Uh, this presence, presence control, what I normally do is I actually start that all the way down. Now I'll play a chord. And if it's too dark, i just simply brighten it up a little bit. I always start at zero though. I don't put it right in the middle because that can be too bright depending on your setup. So start from zero, move it up until you find where you like it. Uh, with this particular setup, this particular guitar, I'm about nine o'clock on both. And I may change the trebles on both channels just to kind of, um, just to suit what I'm playing a little bit more because they are kind of EQ'd a little bit differently. So this type of circuit is often really popular for sort of a clean, just a barely light breakup sort of thing. It does that for sure. Um, and it does a little bit differently on both channels because of that. So let's start with the channel one first. And uh, I have the gain basically all the way down. Let's do the same thing on channel two.
So not completely, absolutely neutral. A little bit of flavor in both of those. A little bit of different flavor as well. So let's add some gain to it and see what happens. <laughs> Now keep in mind, this is in the soft clipping setting. So when you look at the pedal here, on each side, you're gonna see two different switches here. Now this is your clipping switch, call that voicing, because it is changing the voice a bit, it's changing the compression, it's changing how much of that note is getting clipped and uh, in what manner. That's soft, that is medium, that is soft clipping and hard whenever it's in the middle which is a little bit sort of like what you would find on the King of Tone type of circuit, which is another blues breaker type of circuit. And then all the way up, it's just hard clipping. So something more like what you would find on a, a, you know, a crunch box or Sir Riot or a million other pedals use that sort of topology. And then here is your gain switch. So low gain, medium gain in the middle, highest gain when it's all the way up. Same thing on the other side, we have the exact same switches. These switches work on this side, obviously. These switches work on this side. We will notice the MIDI there as well. So yes, this is able to be used with MIDI. Uh, the MIDI for this particular pedal is just going to turn the, the channels on and off. That way you can control it from your switcher a little bit easier. So let's set the same settings up here. I'm gonna put it on uh, soft and hard clipping on both sides. And I'm gonna put it on medium gain. <laughs> Let's go to the highest gain setting on both channels. So we're still soft and hard clipping on both. This is just the highest gain setting for both channels. And uh, it does have quite a bit of gain. So as with any sort of gain device, as you know, it's gonna be some background noise when you have a lot of gain. <laughs> is whenever you do have the gains all the way up, you don't generally want to put both channels on the same time, because both super, super high gain. So whenever you do that, you're gonna get a lot of noise and you know, feedback. So not advisable in that situation, that's with any pedal. If you had two metal zones and you were ran running those together, I probably would say the same thing. Probably a bad idea. Probably gonna be really noisy, probably going to turn into mush. So you need some definition there. Being a dual pedal, one of the things I like to do, you can stack them together, we'll do that a little bit more in just a second, but one thing I like to do is I like to set one up for fairly cleanish and then one up for a little more dirty. And then when you stack those together, then you have a third tone.
Now, again, back to that presence control just a little bit. Let's turn it up in the middle. See, it gets a little bit crispy. Good for a neck pickup though, and a darker guitar. Let's discuss how this whole thing sort of kind of works a little bit closer. You'll notice there's four jacks in out and out. That's if you're using the circuit separated. So let's say that you want to run this side of the pedal to your switcher, this side of the pedal to your switcher, and that way you can control each one of those independently. And you can also do that with MIDI as well, but let's say you have just a regular true bypass looper. If you just want to use it as a single pedal, or with the you know previously mentioned MIDI, input cable on this side, output cable on this side, just like our gearbox, and you don't need to do anything here. Just It automatically does all the switching inside. If you want to switch the order, you do have to use the toggle switch here, but that will switch the order there. So that's the Pantheon Deluxe. Make sure to check it out at your favorite retailer or online wherever you like to buy your gear. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time with another video.